Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bio products industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we'll be talking to an Andrus expert about how the combination of optimization and artificial intelligence is helping pulp mills to reduce chemical usage, minimize failures and achieve greater stability in their operations. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. The pulp industry is constantly under pressure to produce more, consume less, and do it all with maximum reliability. But maintaining stability across complex operations while minimizing chemical consumption and unplanned shutdowns is no easy feat. One of the biggest challenges pulp plants face today is how to stay ahead of process variability and equipment failures, especially in environments where raw material quality and process conditions are constantly changing. At the same time, environmental regulations are pushing for reduced emissions, lower water and chemical usage, and increased energy efficiency. Traditional tools are no longer enough. Pulp producers need solutions that can adapt in real time. And this is where Andrew steps in with two solutions, Metris OPP, Optimization of Process Performance, and Metris Copilot. These tools combine the power of optimization with AI to bring real-time process support and continuous improvement across the mill. So to help us get a deeper understanding, um, I'm joined today by Andre de Muna, Digital Products Manager at Andres. Welcome, Andre. Hello. Thanks. It's my pleasure to be here. That's a great topic to discuss. Excellent. Fantastic. So um, let's go straight in with the questions. Uh, what are the main operational challenges pulp mills are facing today? So, uh, excellent point. Today's pulp mills, they are operating under intense pressure to be more sustainable, more efficient, and more reliable. So all at once. One of the biggest challenges is dealing with a process variability indeed. That includes fluctuations in raw material quality, changing production demands, and complex chemical dosing requirements. So these issues, they not only affect the stability of the operation, but also drives up costs uh, and reduce efficiency, of course. Okay, so it's quite a complex operation going on there. So how does Metris OPP help improve stability and performance? Uh, OPP in this case, it, it acts uh, as the, the brain behind the process. It uses advanced analytics where you can just to go over and uh, grab more uh, information from the data you have and plant this plant data to continuously detect the inefficiency, uh, identify the best operation uh, conditions. So it works silently in the background, fine-tuning the process to reduce this uh, variability, improve yield uh, and stabilize the production without relying solely on the operator experience. So you have the system supporting the operator in the daily routine. Okay, excellent, excellent answer, um, Andre. So, and what's the role of Metris Copilot in all of this, Andre? Is this this is where AI comes in? Yes. Yeah, Metris Copilot it takes uh, things further by offering real-time AI-based recommendations. Uh, it's like a digital copilot sitting next to the to the operator. That's what we're waiting for. We want to support the operator in a daily basis. So we do support to track in performance, predicting deviations. Uh, and suggesting corrective actions before the issues occur. So in this case, this ensures smoother operations, faster decision making, and more consistent results, even during uh, shift changes or process upsets. But main idea is to support the operator with these virtual assistance. Excellent. So it's really making the operator's life a lot easier. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Um, can you share a real-world result of using these solutions together? Yeah, sure. At Latin America Mew, we have helped uh, um, increase uptime by 9%. Uh, we have reduced also chemical usage, these uh, chemical consumption over the meal, uh, by over 11%. And more importantly, the operators know they trust the system. So they use that in a regular base uh, in order to manage the complexity, which is a big culture step. So more than numbers, we have the team engaged to use the tools. So and I also can share some, uh, some results with you and with our audience. So up to 18% increase in auto production with a very satisfactory result, more than 95% asset availability, 
uh, reduction in chemical consumption, as I mentioned before, and up to 10% energy saves. And in addition to that, we also have work to support the operator, as I mentioned as well. And we have reduced the operator workload by 3 40%, so, which means that we are enabling focus on uh, strategic decisions for the operator. And one thing more to add on top of that, so these are technologies that are in place. So these technologies are in the customer. That's a reality. People are already benefiting on that. So that's a, a good result that I would like to, to share with you. Okay, great. Thanks. Some of those numbers were actually really impressive. So uh, up to an 18% increase in annual production. So can you just enlarge upon that? Yeah. Um, by increasing these annual production, it's a sum of uh, several actions and uh, applications that people use in the plant. So we start with uh, assets uh, to increase the asset availability by checking control valves in the field, by checking uh, the pump health if they are operating well or not, and also working with process um, variability to reduce that. Because as soon as we reduce this availability, we increase the asset availability, the plant is able to go to the next level. They are able then to work with higher set points. They are uh, able to reduce these gaps uh, in the variables. Then they can just set higher production in a more safer way. That is a really attractive proposal, that one, that's for sure. And uh, the other number that impressed me was operator workload reduced by 30 to 40%. I mean, we know that it's a good aid for an operator, but can you explain how those numbers add up? Yeah, um, by uh, reducing operator workload means uh, providing operator tools and also to make sure that the system will do some repetitive tasks. So APCs and new wide optimization play one important role on that. Instead of having the operators changing all the set points, concerning about the meal balance, we have these advanced uh, technologies that will do this job for the operator. It does not mean to replace the operator, but support them. It's another mind thinking about all the scenarios in the plant and giving recommendations and also acting in the process. This will for sure reduce the operator workload because he or she does not need anymore to change all the set points all the time. Wow. Very impressive, Andre. Very, very impressive. So what does an operator have to do to install this technology? How difficult is it to actually get involved in this? Yeah, uh, we have many uh, personas that use this kind of uh, technologies in the plant. Operator is one of them. So it's uh, applicable for management, for technicians, for engineers. So that's, that's easy to install. So the teams can easily install and use that. And it's a modular application. You can progress using that. Install model by model. And you can benefit from individual models. So it means that you don't need to install at once everything. You can start small and then progress uh, to collect the benefits like a year by year or month by month. Great. And I, and I presume step by step make it much easier to get familiar with how it works and, and you just get better and better at it, I presume. Yeah, sure. Excellent. So um, what is the long-term impact for mills that adopt these tools? Yeah, it's about achieving true autonomy. So less human error, more process foresight and sustainable operations that adapt in real time. That's just not the future. It's happening right now. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Andre. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. That were brilliant questions. I just uh, would like to add uh, that we are not just enabling digital transformation. We want to co-create it together with our customers, not as a vendor, but as a strategic partner. So thank you again. Excellent. Thank you very much, Andre. This conversation really highlights how the pulp industry is entering a new era, one where digital tools like OPP and Metris Copilot are not just nice to have, but essential for staying competitive. With these technologies, plants move from simply managing problems to preventing them entirely. They reduce waste, increase availability, and empower people to make better decisions faster. So for more information on OPP and Metris Copilots, please see the links in the show notes of this podcast. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an update on how Andritz is shaping the future of industrial efficiency.
Thank you very much. 